Am I right? Uh, his his wife and your wife have the same same name. Frank's wife and your wife. What are you a detective? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a detective. That's that's right. I mean, you come up with these remarks. They have the same name, don't they? He made us laugh and laugh at ourselves with a lifetime of zingers. Don Rickles has died of kidney failure at the age of 90. Good evening, I'm Rick Garcia. I'm Susie Sa, in for Pat Harvey tonight. In Hollywood and around the world, fans tonight are remembering legendary comedian Don Rickles. CBS 2's entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez begins our coverage live at Rickles Star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Suzanne? Rick and Susie, we've been out here about an hour and a half, and so many more flowers than even the last time we hit live at four. You can see tons of roses, even a little note out here that says, We miss you already, Don. And of course, the iconic hockey puck. He loved to say, You hockey puck. He said it sounded close to cursing, but wasn't. He had an incredible career, an incredible life, and we're taking a look back. When legendary comedian Don Rickles was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2000, he couldn't resist a dig at the construction happening around his glamorous moment. Thank you so much. It's a great treat to entertain all the workers on the steel girder across the street. The Matador theme often signaled Rickles' arrival on stage, letting everyone know someone was about to get gored. It was an honor to be roasted by the Emmy Award winner. It's all over, Frank. I know you don't like to hear that. It's gone. The comic legend skyrocketed to fame in the 60s when notoriously hot headed Frank Sinatra gave the okay to welcome his insults. After that, Rickles became known as the insult comic who had a zinger for anybody and everybody. I exaggerate. I make fun of blacks, whites, Jews, Italians. Well, Jews. <laughs> The chosen people, we had a few bum breaks. I must admit that the Red Sea trick. When Sinatra was invited to perform at President Ronald Reagan's second inaugural ball in 1985, he insisted Rickles join him for a comedy bit that Rickles considered a highlight of his career. Good evening, Mr. President. Nice to see you, sir, and your lovely wife, Nancy. It's, it's a big treat for me to fly all the way from California to be here for this kind of money. Generations will always remember Don Rickles as the voice of the acerbic, lovable, and hilarious Mr. Potato Head in the Toy Story films. You would not believe what I've been through tonight. Well, I'm a riot. The rest of the show is weak. Uh, I gotta be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm just, things I say are brilliant. Tom Hanks and Tim Allen, you know, time killers. He is... Hilarious, an incredible loss. Tom Hanks tweeted this afternoon. He said, a god died today. Don Rickles, we did not want to ever lose you. Never. Back here live, you can see the star. Lots of people around here having a look, paying their respects. And people in Hollywood said you hadn't really made it unless he had insulted you. And of course, all of those insults, Susie and Rick, they came from a place of love. That's why he is so beloved. We'll send it back to you guys.